morning from the Yorkshire Dales on a very dark cold morning it's about eight o'clock and I'm just leaving the Mallow village which is behind us uh, today I'm gonna walk up to a little waterfall called Janet's Foss and have a look at that and then move on up to a really dramatic uh, amphitheater limestone gorge of Gordale Scar and then I'm either going to climb out above the waterfall or I'm going to have to go back on myself and climb up onto the top above these scars and then make my way over to Malham Tarn. So that'll be nice. And after the tarn, I'm going to turn back round and head towards the road and cross the road and down to the treat of the day, which is Malham Cove. So I hope you can come along with us. Should be a fantastic day. And there'll also be some shots from above I'll show you from a couple of weeks back when the snow was on the ground. Okay, let's get going. Coming light now. As I started to make my way up the good path up to Janet's Foss and the sun was starting to rise in the east, I hit the river. Some fair water coming down there. That's coming out of Janet's Foss. Look at this. Who like to fall in there? Leaving the raging torrent behind, I followed the path and into the woods. Tell you what, this is one slippery path in these woods. So just round the corner here should be Janet's boss. So let's go up and have a look. It's a pretty loud noise, so we're more or less here. Wow, look at this. The power of water. And after admiring the beauty of Janet's Boss, it was now time to follow this river up into the amphitheatre of Gordale Scar. Whoa, that was a real sight to see that, Janet's Foss. Okay, up on to Gordale Scar next. Can't wait for this one. So just in front there is the amphitheatre of Godel Scar, but looking at this river, it looks like I'm going to have to come back this way, I won't be able to climb up there. And as I started to make my way around the corner to Godel Scar, the river widened and got even faster flowing. What a roar! What a roar coming from that waterfall there! been a lot of rain last night so I'm fortunate to see this Yes, very atmospheric place. 
highly recommend to come and have a look at it. So time to get going now and move on to the next one. Just leaving the score. I was actually going to climb up that waterfall but that were impossible in these conditions. So sun's coming out now so I'm going to get up there. Okay, get stuck in. After retracing my steps more or less back to Janet's Foss, I picked up a path that headed northwest above Gordale Scar to Malham Town. Sun's coming up now, really lucky with weather today. Yeah, very lucky with weather. Gotta get right up there now. Up. but that was steeper than I thought this evening so I'm on top of Godel Scar now let's go and have a look at the waterfall from up here wow it's a long way down isn't it from here there it is um, you can see it was a cave at some point and all the roofs collapsed in what a long way down that is it's about 100 meters Beautiful waterfall. Okay, uh, off on this path. It's a bit cooler up here, but it's a nice day still. Just crossing over these limestone pavements because I want to show you something special. This is the river that feeds Gordale Scar and two weeks ago I was on the other side in beautiful winter conditions. Okay, so I'm on the track now, um, just about maybe a quarter of a mile at the most, Malham's Town. So I've just come down this track here. It's a beautiful day, but it's cold. So here we are, let's go and have a look. So I set off down the track with Malham Town coming into view and wondered why it was so quiet for a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Now finally arriving at Malham Town and the halfway point, it was now a good time to grab some lunch and enjoy the views. While having lunch I'll just give you a little bit of info on Malham Town. It's a glacial lake formed in the last ice age and it's one of only eight upland alkaline lakes in Europe at standing at 1,237 feet, so it's quite high up. Just leaving the east side of Malentorn and we'll get a view of the south side as we go past and hit the road and then we'll cross the road and then get down to Malent Cove. Can't wait. Well, Malham Cove had to wait just that little bit longer when you see views like this down the south side of Malham Top. 
This is the river that comes out of Malham Tarn. So if I spin round, that path there will take us all the way on to Malham Cove. This water here is underground now and resurfaces at the bottom of Malham Cove. But in 2015, on the 6th of December, there was so much water it backed up and run over Malham Cove for the first time in so many thousand years and it made it the highest waterfall in England. To me this looks like an old riverbed so this is probably the way the water came back in 2015. Well you can see here where the water come down as well. Or we come down there. Like a lunar landscape back there. And with the path winding its way down this dramatic lunar limestone landscape, it was one final descent before I hit Malham Cove. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this is really slippy. So I've got to go all the way down there now and follow that wall and round the corner. And within a few minutes of getting round the corner and the sun starting to shine again, the crazy pavements of Malham Cove appeared. So here we are at the edge of Malham Cove. I'll just stick the camera over the edge so you can get a look how steep it is. And that's something I would not have done two weeks ago in icy conditions. Now to go and pick up the path to the village. Well that's where the water comes out. Underground cave system. And uh, you've got some climbers over there. Wow, look at this. How steep that is and where the water came down. Pretty impressive, eh? Very impressive. Imagine that water coming down there now. Waterfall. And after watching the climbers traverse down Malham Cove and the shadows growing long, it was now time to take the main path back to the village. See you later, Malham Cove. And what a way to finish.